students welcome to our science class our chapter name is animal world in the last classes we discussed about what is adaptation and different types of adaptation for the animals we learned the adaptations as body covering body covering feeding habits feeding habits breathing organs and there is one more already we discussed about this body covering feeding habits and the breathing organs now we are going to discuss the last type of adaptation called movement the other three are clear for you now i am going to explain the different animals having different movement organs so what is this movement different animals are moving from one place to another for catching their prey or for their uh, making shelter or searching for food like many things or escaping from the enemies so for different type of uses or their needs they are just moving from one place to another but still each and every animal are using different organs for this movement like we explained how these organisms are just breathing they are using different types of organs for breathing likewise for the movement also these animals are using different organs so today we are going to explain which are the different organs these animals are using for different animals they are using different organs and they are in different number and in this area we will study about land animals then water animals birds and insects these type of animals which organ is the movement organ we are going to discuss first of all we can explain the land animals which are the land animals the examples of land animals are cat fox lion tiger human being these all are land animals do all these animals having the same movement organ no for the human beings it's leg when we are considering the lizard they have another structure for this movement and for the snakes they have no legs so each and every animal in the land they have different type of organs so we are going to look what are they generally these type of animals are using legs legs but they are differ in number for different animals and they have change in their structure for some of the animals having four legs four legs two at the front and two at the back for the two legs at the front we call it as four limb four limbs that means the legs at the front side and at the back side it have hind limbs hind limbs these are the legs which is present at the back side so generally for the we are considering the example of cat it have two four limbs and it have two hind limbs and part according to the human being it have two legs and actually it is hind limbs and this four limbs are actually developed to as hands and we are just doing work with this hands so they are walking through the two hind limbs and the other 
example is reptiles. We can look about these reptiles. By considering reptiles, which are the examples of reptiles, lizards, crocodile, like animals. So, lizard, then crocodile, these are just crawl. We don't say they are walking, they are just crawl. C R A W L. They are just crawl on the land using their short legs. Using their short legs. So you can see these lizards on your home, and when you observe that, you can see they have small legs and they are just crawling through the wall. So this is about this reptiles. And what about the snake? Do snake have legs? No. So these snakes are just creeping through the ground using their scales on their body. While we are studying about the body covering, we studied about the scales at the body of the snake and these scales help them to move on the land. These all are the things about the land animals. Now we are going to explain the water animals. Which are the water animals? The examples of water animals are fishes, like many things other. Okay, so now we are going to explain water animals. Water animals. First of all, I am considering the example of fish. How this fish is moving through the water? Do they have like sand just walking through the water? No. They are just moving using their fins. Using their fins. I will show you what is this fins. When we are considering a fish, it has a tail. And this is called tail fin. Tail fins. And they also have so many wings like this. So, these are called actually fins. They have paired fins, unpaired fins and basically tail fins in a fish. They have paired fins. Unpaired fins and tail fins for a fish. And these paired fins and unpaired fins help them to just move through the water. And it helps them to move forward. To just move them, helps them to move front. That is move forward. And it maintains the balancing. It maintains the balancing. These two helps them to maintain the balancing and help them to move forward and what about these tail fins these tail fins help them to change their direction you can see they just move like this tails so this tail help them to change the direction so this is how our fish is moving through the water so the organ actually helps them is fins paired fins unpaired fins and the tail fins you please want to remember this term fins. The next one is hydra and jellyfish. The other organism in water is hydra and jellyfish. We look what are the organs. Hydra and jellyfish. These creatures use Tentacles. Tentacles. Please remember this term tentacles. So this hydra and jellyfish use their tentacles to move. And the next organism is starfish. Starfish. For using starfish for their movement, they use tube feet. 
they use tube feet. So, we explained about the fish, then we explained about hydra and jellyfish, then we said about this starfish. The next one is turtle. Turtles. They are using four padded like limbs. Four padded like limbs. They are using four padded like limbs. And this helps them to push in water and just move forward. They are just pushing their limbs back and they are just moving forward. This is about this turtle. And the next is penguins and seals. Penguins and seals. These are moving using their flippers. They move using their flippers. And we also have two more images. The first one is deck and the next one is frog. What about this frog and this deck? About this frog, they have webbed feet. They have webbed feet. And for also the deck, it also have webbed feet. What is actually this webbed feet? Do you know? When we are looking the legs, you can see the a structure like this. For this duck and this for this frog, they have a structure like this in between their fingers. So, this is actually the webbed feet. This helps them to swim in water. And then this frog, so duck and frog having webbed feet. And when this frog is at the land, it has strong back him and it helps them to jump. And these are about the water animals. And now we are going to discuss about the next birds. Next is birds. Actually these birds having legs and it helps them to just walk and sometimes it helps them to just perch on the branches. When we are drawing birds, we see that their legs is just put on the branches of trees. So, these legs helps them to walk and just perch on the branches of trees. And actually what is the movement in birds? They are not actually just walking. The main thing is they are flying. So, they are flying through their wings. And for that, for flying, they have certain adaptations. We are looking what are the adaptations birds have to fly. These are the things we are going to look. They have boat shaped body. They have boat shaped body. And the other one is that they have hollow bones. They have hollow bones. What is this hollow means? It means inside the bones they will feel air and this hollow bones help them to fly. So the next point is they have strong wings. They have strong wings. If they want to fly they want strong wings. Some of the birds are not flying like penguins or ostrich, emu. Such animals are not flying. Such birds are not flying. That is because their wings are so weak and also they have very weighted body. That's why the birds like emu, 
ostrich emu ostrich and penguins are not flying because they don't have strong wings and they have very weak wings and their body having much weight and that's why they are not flying so we are discussing about the adaptations of birds for flying they want strong wings the next is their lighter body lighter body which means their body is very light in weight now we consider the next exam the next point that is these wings are attached to the breast bone these wings are attached to the breast bone and it is very strong and this helps to flip their wings it helps to flip their wings so the next point is these wings attached to breast bones attached to breast bones these all are the adaptations a bird need to fly the first one is it is board shaped body basically for this board why it's moving through water that is because of the shape the same thing is about the fish also it also moving because of its shape if it is like a like a shape it won't move through the water so this shape is helping them to move through the water or air so the shape is very important here we are saying about the birds this board shaped body help them to fly and the next is they have hollow bones which means their bone is filled with air and it is hollow the next one is they have strong wings they have strong wings and the next is their lighter body their body is very light in weight and the next is their wings are attached to the strong breast bones and that makes them help to just flip these are the things about the birds and now we are going to say about the insects while we are considering about the insects some having six legs some having wings some having many legs so this insects having different insects so for we are considering about the ant cockroach and bugs and cockroach bugs these all insects having six legs this insects having six legs these insects have six legs and they just crawl through the ground they just crawl through the ground using this six legs and the other insect is grasshopper the other insect is grasshopper and it is having hoppings it is having hopping like the leg this grasshopper having the organ which helps them to move is this hopping h o p p i n g you please want to remember this term hopping and the next is water boatman so what is this water boatman actually it is an insect which walk through the water so they swim through the water this water boatman having legs and it just swim through the water and the next example is butterfly and firefly butterfly and firefly while considering about this butterfly and firefly both having wings and this helps them to fly both having wings so these are about the insects for ant cockroach bugs they have six legs and it helps them to crawl on the ground and about
about this grasshoppers it having hopping and for water boatman that insect will swim through the water and about this butterfly and firefly they having wings and this wings helps them to fly and in this chapter they have a final topic called migration and what is this migration called it is actually the movement of an animal from one place to another is actually the migration so do all the movement is called as migration no so the question is what is migration migration is actually the movement itself but the thing is that to make more favorable environment or just escaping from a critic environment is the actually the migration so we can define this migration as it is the seasonal mass movement seasonal mass movement it is the seasonal mass movement of animals to a more favorable environment to a more favorable environment so then what is this migration migration is the seasonal mass movement of an animal to a more favorable environment is called migration and which are the animals doing migration siberian crane siberian crane this is one of the bird which is making migration siberian crane and the next is mallard duck mallard duck this is another bird the other is locust other is locust and these all are just migrating from one place to another to make the favorable environment so please remember the names of these creatures and this is about the migration and here we are concluding our chapter our chapter name was animal world and here we covered all the topics in this chapter you please want to read your textbook three four times and find the answers in the um, last part of your textbook no need of writing now you please just read your textbook and just look where is the answers like that so you please read the textbook three four times and we will meet in the next class thank you okay mitai